guys and welcome back to another M Creator video. So today what we're going to be working on is making the biome and we're going to be configuring the uh, biome to set up for the actual structures and stuff like that. So it will be basically some different methods that I have used in the past for biome creation and it seems to work pretty good. So let's go into the um, elements tab so mod elements and then we're just going to create our first biome so we're going to go down to B and then biome and what I'm going to call this one is uh, maple forest and then it's going to be the um, probably medium so we'll start with medium and then we'll kind of do different types of variants of the terrain level and stuff like that so i'm just going to use m for medium and then what we can do is work with that so we are presented with some basic uh, options here we need to know what the ground block is i might do a separate tutorial on adding custom ground blocks in the future uh, we might be able to do that uh, in this video but right now at the moment i'm just going to use um, actually the grass block because it's the closest thing that we can actually use for that and then the underground block that is the I believe the dirt equivalent so uh, what we're going to just use is the default dirt and we should be good for that uh, you can adjust all the different um, water colors and stuff like that I usually just leave that to default unless I want a specific thing now the grass color and foliage color I'm going to be changing though for sure uh, the grass color I'm going to change to kind of like a um, something in our mod uh, for the um, texture. Now if we open up the uh, textures that we have for the project, I need to see if where the project is. Wrong project. Um, where would I have kept that? I think it's under YouTube and then Maple Tree and then we have our different textures here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up our sapling one and I'm going to zoom in so I can actually see where our textures are. And for the grass, I'm going to have something a little bit lighter. So I'm going to choose this uh, medium texture here, or medium color. And then I'm going to grab the uh, hex code, which is this one. I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to go back into M Creator. And this is for the grass color, right? So what we want is to go to RBG, and then we can paste in our color code here which is our hex code so once we do that then we can place that in there the foliage color though what I'm going to do for the foliage is actually use the darker red one and again I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go into here and I'm going to select the hex code and paste that in and there we go we got some different colors uh, working on for that so when we actually use the foliage uh, for the uh, tree leaves and the grass will be a different color than a normal biomes. So as far as the fog color and the water color, I'm just going to leave those as default as well as the air color. Uh, the name, I'm just going to have um, maple forest medium. That should be fine. So medium. And as far as this is considered, I'm just going to leave it as uh, vanilla trees disable all this stuff so I don't need to continue that for features um, I think some of the features aren't working properly like the uh, from what I read in the change log for the next version so I think uh, either caves or some other things didn't really exactly work in this particular version but should be working in the next version but uh, I am going to add lakes and let's see here we got uh, frozen top layer. I don't want that actually. I just want ores, uh, caves. Uh, what else can we add in here? We might want to add um, lakes, mountains, ores, ocean caves. We don't really want that. Plain tall grass. Uh, this is the tall grass one. I think this has to do with the double uh, tall grass, if I remember correctly. And not seeing anything 
particular that stands out. So uh, I do want reeds and pumpkins. And just looking at the other options here. And uh, plains tall grass. I think I want that one as well. So we'll use those uh, particular ones for our thing. Now for our trees per chunk, I'm going to actually set this to zero. So... Uh, no trees actually spawn and we're going to use our custom trees for that. So that's why I'm setting it to that and for the uh, grass per chunk I am going to set that to about five um, So there's different amounts uh, per thing uh, Seagrass uh, per chunk now depending uh, actually because it's just a um, Forest biome we probably don't need seagrass uh, vanilla flowers uh, per chunk. I'm going to set that to about five again. And uh, mushrooms per chunk. Uh, it is a maple forest, so we might want a little bit. So we might set that to a high number like five. Um, big mushrooms. Now I'm not going to set that to that one. Uh, sand per chunk. Uh, sand patches per chunk. Now we could add some sand patches, but because it's not really like a lake or anything like that, we don't need it. Uh, reeds per chunk. I'm going to set that to five. Cactuses, we don't need it, and the other biome features we got. Uh, structures, now these are things like uh, things that are vanilla features. We're going to add our own structures as well, but uh, I might add um, generate villages, and I'm going to set that to the plains one. Uh, enable strongholds, yes. Uh, do I want to enable mineshaft? Yes. Uh, pillager outpost. I don't generally like them, so I'm just going to enable them. Uh, woodland mansions. Don't really want that. Jungle temples. No. Desert pyramids. No. Igloos. No. Um, ocean monuments. Uh, probably best not to. Shipwrecks. Not really needed. And generate ocean ruins. And that we don't need any of that either. All right. So that's good. And effects. Uh, there's the biome music we could kind of make our own or use other things but i don't actually have any on hand right now so i am not going to be using any of the ambient sounds or anything like that so i'm just going to leave it as the default and as far as particles this has to do with the um particles for the ambient so things that will kind of like float around and stuff like that we could enable that but um I'll have to make some textures. I think we'll work on some textures uh, probably next episode. Maybe make some leaves or something like that that we can um, put into a particle and then bring it into that. I think that would be pretty cool. Have some uh, particle leaves and stuff float around. That would be pretty cool. But right now we're just going to move on. Now this is our entity selection area. So what we want to do is kind of select some entities. I'm going to actually set... Um, yeah, all the ageable ones are fine. We're going to set that is the creature spawning, uh, probably about 20 for the uh, group or the maximum weight. And then for the group size, uh, we'll have about, actually, um, You know what, let's, uh, let's specify the animals specifically. So I want, um, what do I want in here? So cows for sure. I have to find cows, cows, and then we'll have this about uh, maybe, we'll leave it at 20, and then we'll have maybe uh, anywhere from a minimum amount, three to five cows that spawn. And then we'll add another entry. And then what was the other one? Chickens, I think. And then we'll set this to creature. And then another 20. And then now weight basically has to do with uh, the overall weight of things. So um, all this is calculated and added up. And then things are basically... Um, the weight has to do not as 100% but as the total weight value. So if we have so many animals, right now we're at 40 weight for the animals. Now if we were to add a monster and put it at five, then the total weight would be at uh, 45, but only five of that weight would actually 
go towards our hostile creatures. So keep that in mind when you're actually working with your entities is it's not 100% uh, equal, um, like it doesn't equal 100%. It actually equals how much weight there is in that particular order. Uh, someone pointed that out on my channel and I really thank them a lot for that because I didn't realize that before. So I'm going to set this to uh, 20 again and then we're going to have it about uh, 3 and 5, same as the other one. And I want pigs and... Let's see if we can't find pigs. Pigs should be in here somewhere. So we'll select... Oh, foxes. We could add foxes as well. That'd be kind of cool. Um, pigs, P. I'm looking for P. 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 Player, pigs, pigs. Uh, creature, 23 and 5. And what's another thing that's uh, farm animals? Sheep, I believe. So S is for sheep. S E sheep. And we'll set this as creature and then we'll set this to three and five and then what I want is foxes as well so I'm going to set that to fox and I'm going to set that to creature and I'm going to actually make these guys a little bit more rare so I'm going to set that to about 10 for the weight and I am going to increase that to about five and five per uh, spawning groups. So there will always be about five that spawn per group where the other entities will spawn anywhere between uh, three and five. So there's kind of like that. And the other thing I want to do is just enable some of the monsters. So uh, one of the things that I want to enable is, let's see here, we might want to add Now you can add some of your own entities too if you really wanted to, but uh, I didn't make any entities, so I'm just going through this. I'm going to add probably, uh, let's see here, husk is kind of like the desert kind of entity, so I don't really want that. Pandas, uh, pillagers, we could add pillagers, that would be kind of cool. Um, Probably stick with some of the regular entities, so skeletons. Uh, these I think are around 10 or lower, I think maybe 5. I don't know the exact weight value normally for them. I'd have to look that up, but um, I'm going to go and stick with 5 and then say somewhere between uh, 3 and 5, maybe 3 and three and 4. Two and, we'll go 2 and 3 two and four for the uh, spawning size. Uh, that will be per thing. And we want it on monster so they spawn at night. And we will also go with uh, zombies. Zombies generally uh, spawn as well. So we're gonna go with zombies. Zombie, monster, five and two and four. We'll go probably about five on that one and maybe three on this one. We want zombies a little bit more prominent in our biome. And let's choose one more. Let's go with a creeper, I think. And where? Oh, there's spiders too. Yeah. You know what? Let's add spiders. I think spiders might be a little bit more fitted for the job. So I need to find it, uh, PQRS, squid spider. So we'll set that one and then we'll make this one about five and we'll set that to about two and four for the spawning group. So that should be enough entities for now. And then we'll go world generation. And then what we want to do is now again, the biome weight has to do with the overall weight. Uh, if you want it more prominent uh, that spawns in the world, you want to increase this number. Um, this will be uh, a, taking in consideration for all the other biomes that you add to your worlds as well. So if you have mods that add a lot more other biomes, then the weight will actually go up. So you might want to add this to, I don't know, about like 
le either leave it at 10 or set it to 15, 20, somewhere in there, uh, depending on how common you want it and what other conditions you might have for it. So biome directory, this I'm going to just set to forest and then I'm going to see what else there is here. So it is kind of like a uh, dense biome and what else is uh, this is going to be? Uh, it does have hills because it's going to be a medium sized biome and um, other than that, ocean, modified, savanna, forest, wet, cold, uh, beach, snowy, sandy, swamp. It's not really a swamp. So I think that will be good for that. And for the um, biome parent, I am going to just set no parent. Uh, we could have, um, now I'm not sure what the biome parent it says here that some minecraft versions may use uh, parameters for grouping and some other logic so we could do something like uh, forest then uh, we can go with um, just the regular forest that might be uh, what we need uh, biome category now this should be for what we want uh, should be forest for this one forest and we want it to be a warm biome and for our height offset I am going to go about I think it goes up to 10 maybe yeah so it goes up to 10 for the height um, I'm not sure the exact values for general height it should be the height uh, divided by leave sea level is zero so there is 63 between 63 and 256 currently um, is what uh, the height is for that so anywhere between 10 and 63 so let me just pull out a calculator I might be able to quickly create something so 256 minus 64 and then we want to divide that by 10 so it's each um, solid value so each number should be about 19.2 blocks give or take if my math is correct so if we want uh, to increase it about um, a certain amount of height then we might want to go and start at say somewhere around 2.5 and the height variation now the height variation has to do with how much difference in height there is uh, if we want more spiky train then we want to go with the, the height variation the biome base height has to do with the starting range for the height so um, again if we want it more flat then we have a lower number if we want it more um, hilly then we kind of go with a different number a little bit higher I think this number goes up to two so if you want it really spiky then we can go to two but I'm going to have it about maybe 0 0.8 and that should be good uh, for what we need all right so that and then we have the biome weight we got that set up uh, the biome temperature I'm gonna leave that at I think five I'm not actually sure what the biome temperature is I'm going to quickly take a look at that on minecraft wiki um, uh, Minecraft wiki should have a list here that we can cross reference with. So biome temperature or the temperature one here is basically what we need. Uh, this seems to have changed. Oh, no, down here is what we need. Okay, so the... Uh, temperature is listed here so what we want to look for is the biome uh, type that we're currently in so forests are located here and it's about 0 0.7 so we want to set this to 0 0.7 
and then raining possibility now that isn't actually shown up on the minecraft wiki oddly enough uh, I don't know about uh, the raining possibility, so I'm just going to leave that at 5. And then we're going to create that. And then what we want to do is we're going to duplicate this. And we're going to go uh, maple forest. And we're going to set this to um, large. So we'll go with large variation. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave all the settings the same well, all these the same and then what we're going to do is we're going to set the variation a little bit higher so we're going to go probably five and then we're going to increase that by maybe one for the height difference and maybe 1.2 that should be good and then we want one that's a little bit um, small as well so we'll go maple forest small and we can update the names in the next episode but um, go over here and then we're going to set this to uh, 0 0.5 and probably 0 0.2 just to kind of give it a lower range for the thing and uh, yeah that will be all that we need to do now I am going to quickly go in game and try to find a couple of these biomes and I'll cut back in Right, uh, for the sake of the video, I <laughs> have the thing at 20 for the weight. Now, you might want to lower that because look, looking at it, uh, we have a couple of these biomes over here. That's one of them over here. We have another one all over there. So we might want to drop the weight of the biomes down a little bit and maybe the height for the larger one as well. I think we're in the extreme uh, biome. Uh, if we go roughly around here, we can kind of see what biome. So yeah, we're in uh, the maple forest large. So this is basically the large one. We might want to drop the height on that a little bit. Uh, we can do that next episode. And I'm just going to check the other one over here and see what kind of height this is. And we might be able to kind of see what we're in. This is the small one. So that this one should be fine. I'm not sure where the medium is, so I'm just going to fly around a little bit. And this is a large. So the large should be somewhere, or the medium should be somewhere between these two particularly. Um, this might be large as well. Yeah, this is large. And I'm just going to fly over some of this and see if that, oh, we might got some medium stuff over here. Let's take a look. Okay, this is still small. Okay, let's, uh, oh, that might be the medium one. That might be medium. That looks about medium. Okay, so yeah, this is the medium one. This is um, roughly the height for that. And then we got some villages in here as well. So that's basically what the villages look like. You just happen to build right in a cavern. It's interesting how they have the um, stone things go like that. That scared me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty interesting. I, I wonder why... Oh, because this is a savanna right here. So that's a savanna, and that's why the villages are like that. But anyhow, uh, that will give us a good canvas to start working with, and then we can bring in our um, trees and maybe make some particles and stuff like that for the um, stuff. And it does look like some foxes are spawning, which is pretty cool. Um, there might be a few sp foxes that spawn in, uh, but we do need to mess around with the weight a little bit more and get it a little bit more under control because that seems a little bit too high but uh outside of that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out